Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I'm here with another solo reaction. This is Tombstone. So we just watched Big Trouble in Little China on the channel. We also watched The Thing a while back. I loved both of those movies. This is not a John Carpenter film, um, but it does have Kurt Russell. So I feel like it kind of goes with, with what we've been doing here with Kurt Russell films. So I do know that this is a Western, which I am so excited about. I really love Westerns. I haven't seen a lot of Western films Films, but I am a big book reader, so I really love the Western book genre. So if you have any book recommendations for Westerns, leave them down below. I love seeing book recommendations. Um, such a fun genre, so very excited about this movie. Hopefully this kind of starts a journey through more Western movies for me that I just have not seen. Like, I've never seen a Clint Eastwood movie. There's so many, I feel like, probably more classic Western movies I have not seen. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is the, the beginning of a great journey. I also know that this movie is supposed to be about Wyatt Earp, I'm pretty sure. I don't actually really know much about his backstory or the history of that at all, so I don't know if this movie is very historically accurate or not, um, or loosely based. I guess we'll see. You can let me know down in the comments below. Um, so it'll be cool to maybe learn a little bit more about Wyatt Earp and what happened in Tombstone. <laughs> Cattle drovers turn cow towns into armed camps with murder rates higher than those of modern day New York or Los Angeles. Out of this chaos comes legendary lawman Wyatt Earp. <gasps> Wyatt Earp! Silver is discovered in Arizona. Tombstone becomes queen of the boom towns. Over 100 exiled Texas outlaws band together to form the ruthless gang recognized by the red sashes they wear. They emerge as the earliest example of organized crime in America. Really? The, the Cowboys. <gasps> the Cowboys! Are they really the earliest organized crime? Oh. Is the Cowboys just what this specific gang is calling themselves? Like in the movie? Or did they really exist? <gasps> the red sash. Are you being offered it or I'll kill two cowboys? Oh. Oh no, you ruined their wedding day. Tell him get on his knee. Oh my gosh. He will not kneel, Patron. He is very proud. Hey, somebody get this stick on his knees. <gasps> oh my gosh. Gracias. <laughs> That's sad. That's like your new husband of like five minutes. They call me Curly Bill Brosis. I'm what you might call the uh, founder of the feast. Curly Bill Brosis. What a name. Patron, he say, uh, Do you call him like a gang? Oh. Sick horse who comes to sit with him. He talk crazy. No entiendo un carajo. There he is. He looks so suave with the hat and the mustache. <laughs> I've always really loved this era of fashion. Mr. Herb. My name's Dake. So Probably he's Dick. wider. U.S. Marshal for this territory. Forget it. I'm retired. Excuse me? <laughs> well, you're not going to be retired for long. I already know it. Well, thank you for this, Wyatt. It's all you're doing. You make our fortune, boys. What the hell? Did you say you need some laudanum? Yes, I did. Yes. I have some right here. Oh, you're a lifesaver. To laudanum? <laughs> I always, that's always a big thing in, in books, uh, in like western books, is they always have the laudanum to sleep and get through life. The Wild West was some hard times. <laughs> 500. Must be a peach of a hand. Oh, well, thank you, darling. Kate, you're not wearing a bustle. How dude. 
Like, no bustle. Imagine if you saw what people wore now. There. Now we can be friends again. Oh, oh. <gasps> Maybe not, friends. <laughs> the horse is outside. So that's why you're not wearing a bustle. <laughs> a sweet, soft Hungarian devil. Oh, so that's Doc Holliday. I love this soundtrack. Like, it feels so Western. Puts you really in the mood. I want you to meet Fred White. He's a town marshal. My pleasure. A lot of law around here. Already met the county sheriff. Who, who, who He ain't no law. The only real law around here is the Cowboys. Mm. Cowboys. So they run this area? That's three of them right over there. You can always spot can a cowboy. Oh, yeah, the red sash. Red <laughs> Interesting. The main fact is, cowboys are good for business. So it really is like, like an organized crime gang, like mob type. Why don't you get rid of him, get yourself a straight dealer. Is Just he a think, cowboy? That's easy for you to say. And God damn it, Junior, how many times oh my have I gosh. Going, I'm going to keep that damn cigar out of my face? Huh? Oh, he's gonna say something to him. No need to go heel to get the bulge on a tub like you. I'm real scared. Damn right you're scared. I can see that in your eyes. Go ahead, skin it. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Oh my gosh, he has like that big erp energy. Listen, mister, I'm, I'm getting awful tired of your <laughs> <laughs> It's like you can dish it out, but you can't take it. No one has ever talked to you like that. You gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? No? I didn't think so. Here, Mel. Keep sick. <laughs> wow, he really Here showed him are. the business. All right, youngster, out you go. <laughs> By the ear, too. Oh my gosh. You, like, thought you were, like, the biggest thing in town. Oh, what do you say, Mel? 25% of the house takes sound about right. <laughs> well, would you look at that? That was cool. Well, we're off <laughs> Just acquired us a quarter interest in the game at the Oriental. Oh. Acquired, so to speak. Uh-oh. We're gonna have to acquire yourself again. Where are you going with that shotgun? I didn't know you was back in town. Well, well. How the hell are you? Wyatt, I am rolling. So how do they know each other? Did I miss something? No, I said poker's an honest trade. Only suckers buck the tiger. The odds are all on the house. Depends on how you look at it. I mean, it's not like anybody's putting a gun to their head now, is it? <laughs> That's what I love about Wyatt. I like how this guy back there is just like, doesn't know what to do now. He's just awkward. Johnny, I apologize. I forgot <laughs> you were there. You may go now. Oh my gosh. Wow, you, you really shot? like... Oh, <laughs> oh my God, how embarrassing. Have you seen how everyone dresses? Awful Tony for a mining camp. No, sir, the die is cast. We are growing. Be as big as San Francisco in a few years and just as sophisticated. Oh! Bad timing. <laughs> Easy, Jess. I feel like he's just, like, itching to go be a, a lawman again. <gasps> it's Creek Johnson. They probably know you, too. <laughs> Watch your ear, Creek. <laughs> they don't have to have those guns. It was a fair fight. We was legal. I'm sorry, boys. I gotta take it before Judge Spicer. Hand him over. <laughs> Imagine back in the day there was like a fair gun fight. Just like in the street. He's got the look of both predator and prey. Hmm. I want one. <laughs> Doesn't he have a wife, or was that not who was with him? Professor Gilman! Oh, I seen him in Bisbee. He catches stuff. Hey, Professor. Catch this. Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh! Is this part of the show? Prettiest man I ever saw. <laughs> oh, so he's part of the show. We are marked to die. We are now to do our country loss. 
What a crazy time just getting shot at and just like it's casual. Like we're just at a show. It's fine. It's the culture here. Mm. No, oh, it's her. Oh. Damn. You may indeed if you get lucky. Oh. That's his wife, right? They name is Sullivan. I like these three brothers all had a thing for blondes. Except maybe not him. I don't know. He might have a thing for the brunette. Please stay with me. Well, I, I gotta get to work. Bye. Oh, he's like, sorry, honey. I have to go cheat. Is that the bottle Lou gave you? Yes, it is. Maybe you should see a doctor. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Quiet. It's just oh, headaches. so they're having problems. Listen now, Mr. Kansas Law Dog. Law don't go around here. I'm retired. Good. That's real good. Yeah, that's real good, Law Dog, because Law just don't go around here. Yeah, I heard you the first time. <laughs> I know. Y'all are, like, pushing it. He was kind of just minding his own business. Shut up. You're going to make him unretire. You must be Doc Holliday. That's the rumor. He looks like he's, like, sweating all the time. Evidently, Mr. Ringo's an educated man. He literally looks like he's, like, gonna die or something. He looks very sick. Wow. <laughs> like, woo, check this out. <laughs> this, uh, I don't know if it's, like, funny. It kind of looks ridiculous, but, like, back then they were like, dang. Like, look how fast I can spin this. That mare is in season. <laughs> She's starting. <laughs> no. It's the scent. Oh my gosh. This is like awkward. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I do not approve of this relationship. What do you want out of life? <laughs> you get these questions. Just answer. Well, I don't know. Make some money, I guess. Maybe. Have some children. I... Doesn't suit you. You just met him two seconds ago. Why are you with him? Because he's handsome. And he's charming. And he's all right. For now. Oh, I know. Don't say it. I'm rotten. I've tried to be good. It's just so boring. Oh my gosh. I don't like her. Are, are we? Am I supposed to be like like excited about this this moment? I don't have time to. Be Oh my gosh, go! Like Can you find a man who's not married? Is that the opium Lou gave you? It's a new bottle, isn't it? I wonder if she's like using it to mask an illness or if she's just like addicted to it. How are you feeling, Maddie? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Oh. <laughs> well, you sure? sure? I mean, obviously she's not fine. I feel just capital. Dang. The opioids were rampant. Aren't they still, actually? Oh my gosh! Don't do drugs, kids. You see what's going on in the street? Somebody's gotta do something. Nobody uh, questions it. No, no, no. This is not county business. This is a town matter, Marshal. Because he's the cowboy, so nobody wants to. Curly Bill! Come on now. I feel like he's gonna shoot him. I'm only fun. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, I knew it! Now Wyatt Earp's gonna come out. Oh my gosh, dude! You better get him off the street. Well, now there's no law enforcement in this town other than him, but he like obviously doesn't do anything. Bring him up! Nobody's hanging anybody. He just killed a man. Stay in trial for it. Now get back. 
Move. Look at him taking authority. I swear to God, law dog, you don't step aside, we'll tear you apart. Oh! Huh? Back it up now. Go home now. <laughs> his brother's had his back. And Doc Holliday. And Spicer leans forward and he says, "Well, you can't have a murder without a witness." What? Case dismissed. Wait, that's it? He just got shot in the street and like never got justice or anything for it? Dang. I'm busy. <laughs> We're all busy. Sorry, Mayor, but you're barking up the wrong tree. I mean, there is an open job position. Don't let me take up any more of your precious time. It's like something happens every two seconds. Are you gonna feel guilty? Like you have to help these people? You got us involved when you brought us here. Now you hold on a minute, Burge. So did he become the sheriff? He has the badge. Or the marshal or whatever. Verge, don't do this to me. It's got nothing to do with you, Wyatt. It's got to nothing do with to do with me. I'm your brother, for Christ's sake. God, I don't believe this. Talk to him, will you, or hit him? No, he probably feels how he feels. Gotta back your brother's play. Just did like I figured you would. All right, now you listen to me. I mean, just because your brother is like, they can still make their own decisions what they want to do. I tried to get him to go to bed, but he won't let go. I know. And nobody can make him. Why? Just in time. He is de like he's definitely sick. <coughs> uh oh. <coughs> oh no. That's another thing. Palm right as the mail. Oh. What's the way you walk, you stupid bastard? Easy, kid. I'm sorry. I ain't easy, I ain't your kid. Oh my gosh, it's all culminating to have this big old fight probably between them and the cowboys. I'll fight you right now. Oh, wait, is it happening now? Oh, okay. <laughs> they all do that move, like taking the gun and like hitting them. Your condition's quite advanced. I'd say you lost some 60% of your lung tissue, maybe more. What's the verdict? Mm, oh, so that's why they were calling him a lunger. I'm a good woman to you, Doc. Don't I always take care of you? Nobody cares for you like me. I'm a good woman. Aren't you not supposed to be doing that? You are a good woman. Doctor's orders. <laughs> no, you enabler. She's an enabler. Well, he already lost 60% of his lung. He's about to lose like, lose like 80%. Stay calm and use your head. It'll be all right. Just the same though. Guess maybe you better swear me in. Oh. All right. The three brothers together. Oh, here we go. Here we get, we get, we're getting the walk up. You know how there's always like a walk up when you meet each, meet each other in the middle of the street at high noon. You don't have to worry about a thing. I just went over there and disarmed. You did? Did you really? They look really cool walking up like that, though. Who's gonna sh is anybody gonna shoot first or are they gonna surrender? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! And they're having a shootout. I hope, oh, I hope none of them get shot. Like, none of the brothers are Doc, I mean. No! No, no. Well, you started this! You talked a big game last night. Oh! Oh my gosh, no! Wait, but those might have been flesh wounds. Oh my gosh, is he gonna go shoot one of them? Oh my, this guy, he started it all. 
And then now he's running away. Oh gosh, we're out of ammo. I got you now, you son of a bitch. Please have another gun. Have another gun. Oh. Okay. Morgan, hold quiet now. I mean, he'll probably be okay, right? He got shot in the arm. Well, I guess we did our good deed for today, Mayor. So did you take out the entire gang, though? Or, like, are there going to be more coming after you later? All right, Lunger. You go to hell. I'll put you out Here we go again. Johnny, go! Like, do we need to go through this again? And have more deaths? There'll be one man in charge of Tombstone. You'll be happy to know him. Bet on it. What is that supposed to mean? Are they gonna go try to take him out? Take all of them out? Like, ambush them? I know it's awful to come here, but listen, oh. I think something's gonna happen to Oh! Okay, maybe she's not so bad after all if she came to warn them! Oh my gosh. Oh, did he get Did he get shot? Gotta get out of here. They're just like so angry they're taking it out on everyone. Please no. I'm afraid your husband's going to lose the use of his arm. Oh, at least he's not going to lose his life. Oh my gosh. No, don't go by yourself, Oak. And he still hasn't talked to his wife. To the bone, right, McMasters? No, not anymore. Not hmm. Quiet. Wow, really? I mean, at least it was too far for for them, you know? It was only just like a few of them that were like, wanted to go that far. Oh my gosh. It was his brother, wasn't it? The bullet's too deep, I can't get it out. <sighs> Is he gonna die? Oh my gosh. You were right, Wyatt. They got me good. Don't let him get you, brother. You're the one. Morg? Oh Morg. my gosh, and he was just playing pool too. Like, I thought originally he had gone after them, but he didn't. Mm. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> my gosh, and they still haven't said anything to each other. I feel like this is the best I've ever seen Kurt Russell's acting. And like, he's a really good actor, but I feel like he just went like top tier in this movie in terms of acting. Smells like someone died. Jesus. Oh my gosh. I guess to them it's like even now, right? Like just, they lost people, you lost someone. But are they really gonna let it go, though? Take still, Will. Finish it. Yeah, they're not letting it go. Mm. Wasn't that easy. He's mine. Behind you, Stillwell. <gasps> oh my gosh, he saw them coming! Oh, he stayed! So was this all a plan? Like, to see they would come after him? You calm down 
the thunder. Well, now you've got it. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, he's back. He's back. You literally started this. The cowboys are finished. You understand me? I see a red sash. I killed a man wearing it. Wow. You tell him I'm coming. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Wow. I still can't get over how incredible Kurt Russell did in this movie. Honestly, all of the cast, but... He's just like really standing out. And they're just like out for blood, like taking them all out now. Like no holds back. What is it, no holds bar? What is the phrase? <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoa! They're cleaning the shoes with it. Oh my gosh, with the sashes! Dang! No. What? What are you doing? Oh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Come and get some, boy. Is he like, I just want to end this? Like. Oh my gosh! Son of a bitch! Honestly, no. I'm ready for him to take him out. Oh, there he goes! There he goes! Oh my gosh, and he's doing it like by himself. How many are left? I feel like they've killed so many. I know you boys have got to keep moving. He looks pretty bad to me. Is she here too? What are the chances of that? Wait. I mean, she did say that she she was like a traveler, she just, you know, was always on to the next. And also, you're still married, so, you know, there's that. Watch a straight up fight, just you and him. Settle this thing once and for all. Oak Grove at the mountain, Sulphur Springs Canyon, seven o'clock. You tell him I'll be there. Oh, you I'll be there. Oh my gosh. Take your cowboys, finish off Creek Johnson with Texas Jack. Let's take out Ringo and Ike. Hell, Johnny. He ain't even gonna show. Up. Yeah. Uh, he's totally gonna show up. Like, come on. <laughs> you really think he wouldn't at this point? I can't beat him, can I? No. So what are you gonna do then? Wait. I'm going with you. Oh my gosh, you like can barely even stand up. <coughs> yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to go. What's it like to wear one of those? <coughs> oh, he's gonna give it to him. Oh, Doc was a really good friend. Well. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. <gasps> oh, he showed up! He showed how! He like rallied! You look like somebody just walked over your grave. And he's scared of him. We started the game we never got to finish. Play for blood, remember? I was just fooling about. I wasn't. And this time. Legal. <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, longer. Let's do it. Come on, Doc. Let's take him out. Oh, 
That is freaking crazy. Oh, I wasn't quite as sick as I made out. Oh, are you really or are you just saying that? He's such a good friend. The last charge of Wyatt Earp and his immortals. <laughs> And there they go. They're finishing it. You're the only person I can afford to lose to anymore. How are we feeling today, John? And he wouldn't just leave you after I'm everything. How are you? Oh my gosh. She like finally admitted it when he typically was like not admitting it. I don't want to play anymore. Oh. How many? Yeah, yeah. the most fallible. And his acting, I don't know his the actor's name, is incredible too. The actor of Doc, I mean. You're the only human being in my entire life ever gave me hope. Oh. There's no normal life, why? It's just life. To get on with it. I don't know how. Sure you do. Say goodbye to me. Oh my gosh. Go grab that spirited actress and make her your own. Live every second. Live right up the hill. Live for Live for me. Wow. Can you at least, like, make sure your wife's taken care of and get some help or something before you just leave her for the actress? At least. My friend Doc Holliday. I really love the character of Doc Holliday. Now I really want to go look up like these people in real life. I'll be damned. Oh, this is funny. Oh my gosh. And he died, didn't he? Just like that. Wow. Money. I, I don't even know how we'll make a living, but I promise I'll love you the rest of your life. Oh. Look, I'm not saying Wyatt Earp does not deserve to be happy, especially if he's in a very unhappy marriage or anything, but am I the only one who, like, feels bad for his wife? Like, at all? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. My family's rich. Oh, how lovely for you. I mean, I don't know, whatever. The power of the cowboy gang was broken forever. Ike Clanton was shot and killed two years later during an attempted robbery. Maddie died of a drug overdose shortly after she left Tombstone. Oh, okay. So, that makes more sense. Wyatt and Josephine embarked on a series of adventures. Up or down, thin or flush, in 47 years, they never left each other's side. Wow. Among the pallbearers at his funeral were early Western movie stars William S. Hart and Tom Mix. Tom Mix wept. Wow. Okay, well, now that I know that his wife died, I feel like that made it better of <laughs> the situation. I mean, not that that made it better. That was, like, a horrible thing to say, but, you know, it's not like he just randomly just left his wife forever to go be with someone else. And I mean, they stayed together for a really long time. So good for them, they were really in love. I still slightly feel bad for his wife because obviously she was going through something. Okay, so I just saw that Doc Holliday was Val Kilmer. He, incredible, him and Kurt Russell, honestly everybody in this movie, but him and Kurt Russell in particular really, really stood out to me in this movie. So good, the acting was so incredible from them. I really enjoyed this movie. It definitely gave me that Western feel I was looking for. But probably my favorite thing about this movie was Doc and Wyatt's friendship and then also just the brotherhood between them and just how they all banded together in the end. I really liked that aspect of it too. Um, I definitely want to go look up now about 
their lives in, in real life and just see how accurate it was. I feel like there was obviously a lot of things that was probably dramatized, but probably a lot of things that were accurate and true here so I definitely want to look up more about that because that is so interesting and it's funny because about the wife I was like at the end there I didn't realize that she had died first before he went to go be with the actress um until it said it obviously after the fact but I was like oh my gosh she just like left his wife just by herself and you know at the this was a different time period so it was kind of different to just leave your wife back then because you know it was just like a lot harder for a woman by herself especially one that got left by her husband but knowing that she did pass away first definitely made it a different story in that sense and I mean they obviously lived a very very long life together um, I think it's like 49 years they were together so I guess he really found who he really truly wanted in life and who he loved and he also did just want to live a normal life but as Doc Holliday said uh, there is no I think he said something like there's no normal life there's just life something like that but yeah it was really really good there's a lot of great quotes a, I love the soundtrack a lot of epic moments the gunfights were awesome I had a lot of fun watching this movie for sure it's funny to go from watching Big Trouble in Little China to this because they're just two completely different movies movies um, and just seeing Kurt Russell in that movie and then seeing him here it's like a completely different person which I mean obviously that's a great thing because he's an actor so it's supposed to feel like completely different characters but it just like I almost was forgetting it was Kurt Russell that I was watching because he embodied the character so well like I said this during the reaction but out of all the performances I've seen him do I feel like this was the best acting he's done and he's an incredible actor and in everything but this one was just like such a standout performance and then Val Kilmer like I said as well as Doc Holliday was just phenomenal I just I can't get over how good the acting was here all right well thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time